My name's Assad and I'm the director of comms for Pride in London. My moment is the scrapping of Section 377 in India that happened on the 6th of September 2018. So Section 377 was the law that made homosexuality criminal in India and it was overturned in 2018. It was a law that harks back to colonial times. Section 377 was actually scrapped originally in 2009 and then homosexuality was criminalised again in 2013 and then it was scrapped in 2018 after a five year long legal battle. It was a huge, huge relief for a lot of people that they had something and then they didn't have it and then they had it again. And there was an elation, but also I guess a trepidation that it might get taken away. Um, so I think people this time around are really, really fighting to make sure that it stays this way. But what we saw in England, I think was actually even more amazing in the way that British Indians took to 377 and the way that British Indians celebrated it. I was part of a event with Dishoom and Gaysians that was called 377 Scrapped. And that was all around bringing together British Indians here to celebrate what was a colonial rule. So what we experience is our parents coming from a very traditional time and holding on to those traditional beliefs, but then looking back to their cousins or brothers back in India who say, well, actually things have moved on here, which means a lot of acceptance for the diasporic community elsewhere. The moment I'm most looking forward to in the next 50 years is the moment where pride isn't a thing, where we don't have to come together once a year to make such a loud noise because it's been equalized throughout the rest of the year. I think a lot of people are getting quite lazy and relying on pride as that moment to say, well, we've got pride, therefore we've got equality. But we know as volunteers all year round that actually we need to push 365, not just one. And that's the moment I'm looking forward to.